welcome. Today we are going to be doing a critical role plan with me. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It is, we're going to start this, my last planning video ended on March the 31st, but the first was on a Sunday. So what I done was because I was off that weekend, I just, I didn't really do anything Sunday. We just stayed at home. So I just left it the way it was. So this week's spread, I am actually going to start with April the 2nd through the 8th. Critical Role. Ah! So, how many of my geeky friends out there love them some Dungeons and Dragons? Come on now. Tell the truth. I know a lot of you do. I certainly do. So, as usual, what I done was I just found pictures that I printed out and that is what I'm going to be using today for this plan with me. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm just going to start planning guys. So I'm probably going to get quiet and just start figuring out how I want to place my stickers. You know the drill. I'll try not to sing, but I can't make no guarantees. Because I mean, it's critical role. And I would like to rage. <laughs> it's my favorite. I don't know. When my husband first tried to get me to watch this show, I was like, no, it sounds stupid. I don't know why you're sitting around for hours watching a bunch of people play a game. That doesn't make any sense to me. And then, and then, on a trip, we started listening to it. I was going to try to take a nap in the car. And as I'm laying there, my husband is driving with my eyes closed. These people are playing D&D. &D and it's getting inside my head. And I can't help but listen. And what happens? I can't fall asleep. I end up wrapped up in it, holding his phone in my hands for like six hours. No lie. From then on, I was hooked. He was on like episode 100 and something. So, of course, I had to come home and start all over because I had to know everything from the beginning. I just had to. I just had to know it all. So, I got home, I started watching, and I had my obvious favorites in the beginning. Grog was like number one, and then the other characters started to grow on me. The last one to grow on me was Keyleth. I don't know what it was about her character. I was like, I can't stand people like this. You know, I just, I just was not feeling it. I was not feeling it. But then, something happened. I don't know what it was. But something happened and I just, even her, she grew on me. So now I am still trying to catch up with season one of Vox Machina, but every Thursday we watch the uh, season two, the new ones, as it comes out. And let me tell you, I think my favorite this time, I don't know. Here I go again. It Right now, I really like Molly. 
And but I think my absolute favorite is Laura's character. Um oh 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 what is her name? This is gonna bug me now until I figure it out. Until I remember. I'll remember. I'll remember. I'm still getting used to them because they're new, but that's okay. Let's see. Actually, I think I'm going to do this like this. I feel like this is how I always set up my planner. I really need to start doing something different. I'm going to try something different next time. Okay, so I think this is where I want to place everything. If I can get the sticker off, that is. So I'm interested to know if any of you guys watch it. And if so, who was your favorite character from season one? Or season two. That is really bugging me that I cannot think of her name. She wields a lollipop, for goodness sake. How can I forget that? How can I forget her name? The shame, the shame. The obsession with this, though, seriously, I, if I work on Thursdays, it comes on at, like, 9 o'clock where I'm at, at night, and work or no work, I rush home, and I am happily planted on the couch at 9 p.m. If dinner hasn't been fixed yet, if it's not ready, oh, too bad. It's gotta wait. It's gotta wait. Till like one, two o'clock in the morning. Or you better go fix you a frozen pizza for real. I would say I have a problem if it was more than one day a week, but you know, all my babies are grown. The youngest one's about to go off to college. So I do believe they can fend for themselves. <gasps> Jester, that is her name. See, I told you guys I would remember. You doubted me. I know you did. Jester. But I think my favorite, um, I guess, voice actor out of all of the ones would have to be Sam. Sam Regal. Because he is just, he is so funny. The faces he makes, there's just, he cracks me up. It takes a lot to make me laugh because, as my husband would like to say, I have no sense of humor. I really do. You just gotta be funny. And, uh, dad jokes just aren't funny. I love you, honey, but, you know. These are going down very nicely. And spring is here. 
Yay. So because I'm not completely caught up on season one, so far my favorite story arc um, out of the ones that I've watched, uh, right now I'm on like episode 60 maybe? It's in the 60s. <clears throat> Excuse me. My favorite episode out of all of the ones up until then would probably be when Grog went up against his uncle and he killed his uncle and took control of the herd. And for some of you that don't watch this, I apologize because I know y'all have no idea what I am talking about. But if you don't, Thursday nights on Geek and Sundry, Critical Role. Get with it, peoples. You're missing out if you're not watching it. It's a good, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going. It is a good time for all to have. And it's critical that you watch it. So you know we're going to mark it because not that I need the reminder, but still, I like to have it in there just in case. And you guys know what? Last week, I forgot to do something. I forgot to wish my mother a happy birthday. So, Mom, if you are watching this, happy birthday. I love you. Her birthday was March the 26th, and she doesn't look a day over 21, 22, which means I don't look any older either. So... This weekend, we have game night, and guess what we're playing? Dandy! D-A-D. See, now I'm singing again. I told you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't stop myself from singing. I don't know what else to do to this spread. I mean, it's glorious the way it is. So, if you don't know who everybody is, this is Sam Regal. That's Laura Bailey. This is Talison. Is it Jaffe? And, um, let's see, who else is on here? Of course, you've got Matthew Mercer. He's the D, he's the, um, Dungeon Master. And then you've got Ashley. And then you've got Marisha. What is Ashley's last name? I don't remember. She, Ashley is on, um, Blind Spot. And then Orion used to be on there. See, I told y'all, I know too much about this. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So, I don't think I'm going to put any more stickers on here. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. Because I don't want to go overboard on this. Because I really want these pictures to kind of make the statement. But I do want to make a um, an envelope to put in 
on this spread and you guys will understand why. And I'm going to use one of these envelopes that I bought at um, Mighty Dollar that have the sticky back that has the um, little envelope up front. And then I'm just going to place that down on a piece of scrapbook paper. Press it down just a little bit. And then because of how long the envelope was and the paper that I used, I used one of these little sheets of paper. You've got that hole right there. So I'm just going to cut a little piece out of the backing to the envelope to kind of cover that up just so that it doesn't stick to anything. There we go. Good as new. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take my hole punch, figure out where I want this to be placed, probably down at the bottom. So I'm just going to line it up with the line down here and then hole punch, as you can see. And then I'm going to place a picture in here. Are you guys ready? <gasps> We're not going to show that for very long. So me and my husband and my daughter went to the Lexington Toy Convention and got to actually meet Matthew Mercer. My daughter's going to kill me for showing her picture, but that's okay. So we actually got to meet him. I don't know why I'm even covering it up now. You guys have already seen it. But I think this is what I am going to use as my spread. And it will line up like so. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and like this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on anything. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Is it Thursday yet?